Let's turn this conversation about supply chains more broadly on a global basis, whether it's Taiwan, whether it's uh, Baltimore or the Red Sea. It just feels like supply chains are very precariously balanced. There's no margin for error. And if there is going to be an accident or a mishap, then that could have some profound inflationary ramifications. How much of a wild card is this for the current setup? I think this is the key wild card. And ge geopolitics is something we've talked about before. This is, all these things are related. The China plus one or one plus India, people moving supply chains around, it's all related to this. The semiconductor manufacturing industry is perhaps the most extreme where you have com small companies at very critical nodes that have 50, 60, 80 percent market share. And then you have companies like in the Netherlands or in Taiwan that have huge market shares in their positions. So that is the most sensitive supply chain that we have perhaps globally. But there are many others that are impacted as well. So does it, is it the case that I mean, we, we've had so many wake-up calls, haven't we, after COVID, after Ukraine and those supply chain uh, shocks? How resilient and how diversified and de-risked is the global supply chain when you consider potential points of failure? More resilient than four years ago, more diversified than four years ago, not materially de-risked compared to four years ago. There's still a long way to go because, again, the, you have critical nodes at which the production is controlled by a very small, a very small cohort of companies, perhaps even one company sometimes. And that, that takes a long time to replicate. If you look beyond semiconductors, other supply chains, India and Southeast Asia are going to be critical here, even more so than they are today. It's not just about making smartphones for a U.S. customer. It's much more broad than that. I was just in India a few weeks ago, and the, the Make in India <coughs> effort is very real. It's very large, and it's happening much more quickly than I had thought it would happen. <coughs> Southeast Asia also, same thing. 